Hello, this is Tom from Wedgie TV, and here we're in beautiful Muskoka, and I'd like to introduce you to Nancy. Nancy, introduce yourself to the world. Hi, I'm Nancy Hastings, and I'm owner of uh, Second Wind Conditioning. We're located in Burlington, and um, a lot of our athletes are coming to train with us from Burlington, Hamilton, Oakville, basically all of the Halton surrounding area. Fantastic. And we're up here at Muskoka. It's a 70.3, so it's the half Ironman yep. uh, official race. So they're going to swim two kilometers, right. which all the athletes have done that now. Um, they're off to, um, to bike 56 miles mm -hmm. or 90 kilometers, and then they'll come back and they'll have to run a half marathon. And the one thing I can tell you, the course up here is a beautiful course for biking and, and running. It you gotta love those hills. <laughs> it's hilly and it really rewards uh, good bike handling and being good technically on the bike. Yep. So Nancy, this is something that you look after when you, you that's why you come to a coach to get coaching Absolutely. on Absolutely. Uh, a couple of the girls that are here racing today um, with uh, second wind conditioning, our team is called Iron Canucks. Okay. Um, recently, this past summer, um, some of these athletes that are here today also did a race in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And um, so for some, this is their second half Ironman this season. And um, some of them came to me a year ago mm -hmm. and they couldn't even swim, you know, 50 meters. Oh, okay. And so with the coaching mm -hmm. and um, um, the advice and the information and also the group support that's very important right they they're able to come here and accomplish something like this fantastic now people that are interested in triathlon what advice would you give for them to get started well first of all I suggest that people actually come and watch the triathlon okay yes. and um, see what it's all about and ask a lot of questions and that's what kind of motivated me is to actually go and watch any kind of race could be mm -hmm. a running race as well and see the people that are out there and see see all of the spectators and see all of the support. It, it and is quite contagious, I mean the absolutely. energy. Absolutely. Yeah. And then realize that, you know what, that's something that I can do okay. and I'm going to set my goal to do that. Well, fantastic. Some people think that to get into the sport it's fairly expensive, but you can get in with basic equipment. Absolutely. So. Probably you already have a pair of running shoes, mm -hmm. so you're you're all set there. Um, you probably already have a bathing suit, mm -hmm. right, and your you goggles. Know. So you, yeah. <laughs> and what I suggest to people is borrow a bike if mm -hmm. you're not 100% sure about if this is something you want to do. And my first bike, I, I usually tell people, is I wasn't sure about the sport and I didn't have a lot of money at the time because I was a stay-at-home mom. Sure. And so um, someone actually sort of put together a bike for me, okay. and that's what I used my, for the first couple years of doing try, try, try. So okay. I started out and then I went to doing sprint distance and then I went to doing half Ironman distance. So Excellent. over many years working right. my way up. Now uh, it's, it's a fun sport. Can you, do you have any fun stories, uh, things that you've seen or been experienced while you've, while you've done the sport? Fun stories. Well, every race is different. So okay. one of the girls that um, is here with Iron Canucks today, she didn't expect it, but she got to her bike and she had a flat tire. So we were oh. saying, well, that's good that we had that bike tire changing <laughs> clinic. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so you never know what the day is going to, exactly. to be, right? Every, every race is going to be different. How you plan it may not be how it all works exactly. out. Exactly. So just you just really have to go out and what, when, you know, I, swimming is not my strongest sport. So when I get on the bike, I'm really excited because I just want to take the scenery in. So just get on the bike and mm -hmm. just enjoy. And really, if you think of it, I mean, doing the race, that's just the, that's just the end of your journey. Like all the training right, you've right. done, all the people you've met, everything you've learned, that's your entire journey. Yeah, the, the race itself is, is the payoff. But exactly. I mean, that journey is, it's is just so important. Like, you just showed up today with 900 other people right. and you're going to do a workout with lots of people. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's such a friendly sport. Okay, and uh, any advice for people? Advice that I would give would be to suggest that people um, look at how their season went mm -hmm. and then look at the areas that they felt that they were challenged the most in. So if you felt that you were challenged in some of your swim workouts, mm -hmm. then really spend some extra time over the winter, whether it's getting a coach or, or just connecting and getting some more information about how you can improve your swim stroke. Right. And the same would go for you know cycling and running. Right. So whether you need to do a little bit more speed work on your runs, right. um, strength training, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so really figure out what that area is that you, you need to work on. Great, a fantastic advice. Nancy, I thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. And hope to see you on the race course. Absolutely. Okay, take okay. care. Thank you. Thanks.